Okay, here's your Brian. This one. What happened was <laughs> these motors. So see how the armature is onto the right side right here more than the left? What happens is that the shaft, uh, the bearings will creep on the shaft. And because it's a blower motor, it's sort of blowing one way. And it pulls the... Uh, the shaft is being pulled one way, I believe. And apparently... Uh, the shaft moves on the... The bearings move on the shaft. And so... What happened was... The motor will freeze up because it's the bearings are pushing on the armature. And then what happened was I had some excess vibration for some reason and it just totally toasted this squirrel cage. And so I'm not sure if it's a problem with this motor, this particular motor, or if I need to get a new perfectly balanced squirrel cage and or the exact um, part this is kind of a generic part that I put on here so anyway that's your tip for today now if you're working on your, your heater and you don't see that red light right there that means you don't have power to the unit and then this is also the cutoff switch so basically this one's bypassed so we can check it um, if the door's not shut and you don't have a bypass the heater will not come on this has the viewport, and of course it's got the codes, and what happens is when there's a problem, that red light will flash a code. And so here's basically the code uh, analysis chart here. So anyway, thanks for watching.